Now, next topic is acceleration due to gravity. Now, the acceleration produced in the motion of a body under the effect of a gravity, as you can see in this image, is known as acceleration due to gravity and it is denoted by g. The value for g is known to all that is 9.8 meter per second square. So we know that when force acts on a body it produces acceleration therefore a body under the effect of gravitational pull must accelerate. So let us consider a body of mass m here that is lying on the surface of the earth. As you can see we have a body m and it is on the surface of earth. Then gravitational force on the body is given by F equal g m m r square. Now m the bigger m is the mass of earth and the small m is the mass of object. Now, as you can see, the distance between Earth and the object is nothing but equal to radius of the Earth. So, R will be, the small r will be radius of the Earth. Or you can take it as big R as taken in fifth. So, it will be R squared. R is the radius of the Earth. Now, as you know that for, uh, the force is nothing but mass into acceleration. Now, as we are considering it acceleration due to gravity, that means it is a free fall. So, in the condition of free fall, we replace A with G. That means my second equation is M cross G and my first equation is G M M dot R over R square. Now, we need to compare these two equations, 1 and 2. So, when we compare we cancelled out cancel out force on from the left hand side so it will be mg equal g m m r square now you can cancel out small m with m so you are left with g equal gravitation universal gravitational constant that is big g over m r square now as you know that the body is a sphere so sphere is replaced by 4 over 3 pi r q rho that is mass is equal to volume into density so your formula will be g 4 by 3 pi rho g r so this is a gravitational constant under gravity under this is acceleration due to gravity so that's the end for this part